Well, a warning tonight about a highly poisonous mushroom found recently in the Boise North End. The death cap mushroom was found on Harrison Boulevard. The CDC says it's responsible for most mushroom poisoning deaths worldwide. Our Tristan Lewis spoke with some experts tonight. And Tristan, they say this mushroom isn't usually found in Idaho, right? Yeah, sure, that's right. Mycology experts say the death cap is typically found in coastal areas. So think states like California, Oregon, Washington. Groups who helped identify the specimen say its arrival was likely to happen at some point because of the imported nursery stock. And experts say here, since it's here now, it's something to be aware of. Next time you're on a stroll with the curious kids and pets through Boise's North End, beware. A deadly mushroom is popping up around the area. Amanita phalloids, a.k.a. the death cap. It's said to be responsible for about 90% of all mushroom poisoning fatalities in the world. The Idaho Department of Health and Welfare issuing the warning Friday. They say consuming half of the mushroom cap can kill an adult and a small portion can kill a dog. The fact that it had never been identified in Idaho and never been identified this far inland at all. It was first found on Harrison Boulevard last fall by an amateur mycologist under a red oak tree. She brought it to a Southern Idaho Mycological Association group meeting. Mickey Meir, a former pathologist, then ran DNA testing on the mushroom. It came back with a 99.85% match for death cap. I'm told other members of the mycology group also found examples uh, scattered around the north end. I'm also, I am told that they were all associated with what they think are red oak trees or oak trees of some sort. Members of the mycology group say the oak trees came from a California nursery where the death cap is known to grow. Mir believes that's how they grew in Boise. It's just, it's not something that's been found this far from the coast before, at least to my knowledge. The number one rule if someone were to come across a death cap? Don't even think about eating. While it looks similar to patty straw mushrooms, those aren't usually found in Idaho. There, there's an expression in the mycology community, you just don't eat anything if you're not absolutely sure of what it is. And Mir says that no eradication method has worked and that spraying pesticides on death caps won't kill them. So to help stop the spread, if you were to come across a death cap, Mir and IDHW say to remove it from your yard. Don't mow over it. There is no evidence that hand contact with it is harmful, but experts still advise to wear gloves and thoroughly wash your hands after contact. And don't compost it. Put that in the garbage. So, Shira, these are some fun guys to stay away from. All right. Thanks, Tristan. Good information there.